Well, the rain moving over Teller County right now is likely causing some mixed emotions for crews fighting a wildfire near the fluorescent fossil beds for the second day. It's bringing some rain, which will likely help to put out the fire, but also more lightning, which is believed to have sparked the fire in the first place. KRDO News Channel 13 Scott Harrison is right alongside the Fossil Beds National Monument right now with more on the situation out there. Scott. Well, guys, one thing's for sure, having no smoke or flames visible on the horizon over my shoulder there, definitely a good sign for the firefighters and for the nearby homeowners. The storm that moved through about an hour ago brought rain and cooler temperatures for crews fighting that 14-acre fire. A somewhat more relaxed atmosphere from this time yesterday when the fire looked much more threatening and neighbors had already evacuated or were on standby for it. But those alerts are over now, and firefighters hope to reach full containment today, improving from 90% yesterday. Probably around 10 o'clock in the morning, one by one, uh, Forest Service guy showed up, and I gave him the phone because I was on the phone with the fossil beds, asking them about a s smoke and fire on their property. And from there, he called it in, and everybody else showed up. You said you gave him permission to go on your property to get to Please, yes. I told him, stage it here. That's fine. Go through my property, have the fossil beds, cut the fence, and go in and get that fire out. Although smoke and flames, again, were not visible from a distance today, authorities still wouldn't allow us to get closer to the scene. Forest Service is now in charge of the operations out here. But a fluorescent fire tender from the fluorescent fire department stood by all day to provide crews with water for the firefighting effort. And we're told that that tender is re being requested to stay out here throughout the evening. We'll keep you updated. We're live in Teller County. Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13.